Hello and welcome my dear students. Today I am going to do some application of trigonometry of class 10 and both. Let's start the question. The first question is A tower is 100 to 3 meter high. Find the angle of elevation of its top from a point 100 meter away from its foot. So let me first draw the diagram. This is tower. Tower is 100 root 3 meter and what is given uh, 100 meter away from its foot means the base is given 100 meter we have to find the angle of elevation this will be the angle of elevation let me write this is theta and this theta we have to find let me name this a b and c solution number one so what is given we have to write for first what is given here height is given height of tower is given 100 root 3 and the base is given bc is equal to 100 meter we have to find angle of elevation this one we have to find so let me put this as question mark now see what is given here height and this is base this is called perpendicular and this is base no so perpendicular base is tan theta so here we can write in right triangle abc tan theta is perpendicular by base perpendicular by base okay so now now i will write tan theta is equal to perpendicular is 100 root 3 and base is 100 10 theta is equal to 100 100 get cancelled what will be left root 3 10 theta is equal to this is root 3 10 60 degree is root 3 okay 10 60 degree is root 3 after that 10 theta 10 theta get cancelled theta is equal to 60 degree this is the answer next question is given here a tower stands vertically on the ground from a point on the ground 20 meter away from the foot of the tower the angle of elevation of the top of the tower 60 degree what is the height of the tower so, let me draw first a diagram this is a tower tower is tower we have to find let me put this as h after that what is given the base is given 20 meter away 20 meter away and angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 60 degree that means angle of elevation is given here as 60 degree so this one i'll put a b and c we have to find height and the base is given and the angle is also given here question number two solution <coughs> given angle of elevation 60 degree this one is given and the base is given b c is equal to 20 meter and we have to find height so here i'll write to find height of tower b a b is equal to question mark this one we have to find you have to find perpendicular and the base is given so here i'll write in trying in right triangle a b c perpendicular by base is tan theta so here i'll write tan theta is equal to perpendicular by base here the theta is given theta is given 60 degree so i'll write tan 60 degree and the perpendicular is h and the base is 20 meter okay so 10 10 60 degree if you see in trigonometric table 10 60 degree is root 3 is equal to h by 20 in denominator nothing is there so i'll keep as one so i'll do now cross multiply h into 1 is h 20 into root 3 is 20 root 3 okay after that uh, i'll put the value of root 3 h is equal to 20 into value of root 3 is 1.73 h is equal to if you multiply 20 into 1.73 let me multiply here 173 20 if i multiply 0 0 0 2 3 is 6 2 7 is 14 1 carry 2 1 is 2 plus 1 3 so 34.6 34.6 meter is the height of a tower okay. so this is the answer the next question is given 
a vertical pole stands on the level ground. From a point on the ground 20 meter away from the foot of the pole, the angle of elevation of its top is found to be 60 degree. Find the height of. So here also we have to find the height of a height of a pole. We have to find find the height of the pole. So this is the height of the pole. This one I'll keep H. And what is given? The base is given 25 meter away. 25 meter. Okay. And the angle of elevation is also given here as 60 degree. So here I have to find H. So this is A, this will be B and this will be C. Number 3 solution. So what is given that the thing I'll write here given angle of elevation is given. So here I'll write angle of elevation 60 degree. This one is given here. After that the base is given here BC is equal to 25 meter and we have to find height of a pole so here i'll write height of a pole this one is question mark so here perpendicular we have to find and the base is already given so here also i can use the tan theta only so here i'll write in right triangle a b c h hypotenuse by base it will be tan theta is equal to perpendicular by base so now 10 theta theta is already given here 60 degree so 10 60 degree is equal to perpendicular will be perpendicular i'll write as h and the base is given 25 we know the formula of 10 60 degrees root 3 and this will be h 25 in denominator nothing means i'll put as 1 so now i'll cross multiply h into 1 is h only 25 into root 3 is 25 root 3 now I'll put the value of root 3 and I'll multiply with 25 then I'll get the answer. In question number 4, the question is given on angle of elevation of a ladder leaning against a wall is 60 degree and the foot of the ladder is 9.5 meter away from the wall. Find the length of the ladder. Here also we have to find a length. So let me draw a diagram first out here. So this will be the height and this will be the length and this will be the so the angle of elevation is given here 60 degree and what is given the foot of the ladder is 99.5 meters so 9.5 is the foot so this is the base and we have to find what we have to find the length means this this is the length so this one we have to find let me put, write this a b and this will be c we are doing question number four So here what is given the base is given and the length we have to find and the angle of elevation is given so here i'll write given angle of elevation theta is equal to 60 degree this is given and the base is given bc is equal to 9.5 meter we have to find we have to find the length length of a ladder this one we have to find so this is hypotenuse and the base hypotenuse by base what trigonometric we can use here in triangle in right triangle abc cos theta we can use here cos theta or cos theta we can use cos theta is equal to cos curly brown here means base by hypotenuse base by hypotenuse cos theta will be theta is given 960 degree and the base is 9.5 and the hypotenuse is L cos 60 degree in trigonometric table if we see cos 60 degree is 1 by 2 1 by 2 is equal to 9.5 by L so if we, if I multiply if I do cross multiply then I'll, I can get the answer L into 1 will be L only 9 into or 2 into 9.5 2 into 9.5 if i multiply here 2 into 9.5 then what i'll get 2 5 is the 10 1 get carry 2 9 2 is 18 plus 1 19 19.0 so here i can i can write 19 only 19 meter is the length of a letter so this is the answer now let's move to the next question number five in question number five is given the string of a kite is 100 meter long and it makes an angle of 60 degree with the horizontal Find the height of the kite. 
assuming that there is no slang in the string so let me draw a diagram first here this is the height of a kite and this is the string means the person is here he is flying the kite and the, this is the string and this is the height of a height of a kite okay so this is the base here the uh, what is given the length of a kite is 100 meter this is 100 meter is the length is given and the angle of elevation is given 60 degree and we have to find height height of a kite this is the kite of a height and this is the length and this is the base so let me write here this is a b and c we have to find the height of a kite so we are doing now number five question number five So what is given? That thing we have to write here. Length is given. Length of a kite AC is equal to 100 meter. Angle of elevation theta is equal to 60 degree. This is given. And we have to find what? We have to find height height of a kite a b is equal to question mark or else we can write here h height now here what is uh, what we have to find we have to find this particular and the hypotenuse is already given sin theta we can use here in right triangle a b c sin theta we can use because sin formula of sin theta is some people have means perpendicular by hypotenuse perpendicular we have to find and the base is given perpendicular by hypotenuse so sin theta we can write as sin theta is given 60 degree and the perpendicular we can write perpendicular is h we can write h and the hypotenuse is 100 meter so 100 sin 60 degrees root 3 by 2 and this hypotenuse by 100 will come down now we will do cross multiply h into 2 is 2 h is equal to 100 root 3 after that h is equal to 100 root 3 divided by 2 okay. here we can cancel 250 is 100 so what will be left 50 in 50 root 3 50 root 3 is left here so 50 into root 3 we can write as 1.73 now we will multiply this is the answer now let's move to the next question question number six. question is given a kite is flying at a height of 75 meter from the level ground attached to a string inclined at 60 degree to the horizontal find the length of the string assuming that there is no slang in it the kite is flying at a height of 75 meter so this is the height 75 meter from the level ground attached to the string inclined at 60 degree 60 degree means this will be 60 degree 60 degree uh, find the length of the string so this is the string and this is the height and this is the base and the angle of elevation is given so here i write a b c so here we have to find the length of a string so we are doing question number six solution in question number six the height is given we have to find length and the angle of elevation is already given here given angle of elevation is given 60 degree and the height of a kite is given height of a kite a b is equal to 75 this is given here and we have to find the length to find length of a string this is question mark so here uh, perpendicular is given and the hypotenuse we have to find so here i can write in right triangle a b c we can use here sin theta some people have perpendicular by hypotenuse sin theta perpendicular by hypotenuse perpendicular is already given hypotenuse we have to find so sin theta is 60 degrees given perpendicular is 75 hypotenuse we have to find sin 60 degree in trigonometric table if you see the sin 60 degree is root 3 by 2 is equal to 75 by l okay after that we, we can cross multiply we can do cross multiply length into th uh, root 3 
2 into 75 so it will be n root 3 is equal to 75 into 2 n root 3 is equal to 75 into 2 is 150 so here I can write n is equal to 150 this root 3 will come down in denominator it will come in denominator so that l into uh, 150 divided by root 3 into in denominator root 3 is there so i multiply numerator with root 3 and denominator also with root 3 after that l is equal to 150 into root 3 it will be 150 root 3 in denominator root 3 into root 3 root 3 into root 3 is 3 okay so now i will cancel 3 into 50 is 150 so what is left l is equal to 50 into root 3 l is equal to 15 to root 3 the value of root 3 is 1.73 so 1.73 i'll multiply with 50 this question is question number 7 the question is given here as the length of a string between the kite and a point on the ground is 90 meter if the string is on angle theta with the ground level such that tan theta is equal to root 3 how height is the kite assuming that there is no slang in the string the length of a string between a kite and a point on the ground is 90 meter means the length is given here length this is the length length is 90 meter if the string is on angle theta this is angle theta with the ground level such that tan theta is equal to root 3 how height is the kite means this is the height of a kite this we have to find this one i'll write as a b and c we are doing question number seven what is given here that thing we have to write here given length is given length of a string is equal to 90 meter and and what thing is given theta is not given but we can find out the theta here in the question is given tan theta is equal to root 3 tan theta is equal to root 3 with the help of this we can find out theta here so tan theta i'll keep it like that only tan 60 degree is root 3 tan 60 degree is root 3 okay so tan tan get cancelled theta is equal to 60 degree so here theta is 60 degree to find we have to find we have to find the kite of a height of a kite height of a kite we have to find now here uh, this is perpendicular is we have to find and the hypotenuse is already given hypotenuse perpendicular by hypotenuse is sin theta so here we can write in right triangle abc sin theta is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse perpendicular by hypotenuse sin theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse so sin theta theta we have got 60 degree so here you can write 60 degree perpendicular we have to find h hypotenuse is given 90 degree so if you see in trigonometric table sin 60 degree is root 3 by 2 so sin 60 degree we can write root 3 by 2 is equal to h by 90 now we'll do cross multiply h into 2 is 2 h 90 into root 3 will be 90 root 3 after that uh, after that we can write here uh, h is equal to 90 root 3 divided by 2 we can cancel 45 h is equal to 45 root 3 will be left yeah. 245 is 90 what is left 45 root 3 so here we can write 45 root 3 we can put the value of root 3 value of root 3 is 1.73 so h is equal to if i multiply these two i'll i'll get the answer i'll multiply here 45 1.73 5 3 is a 15, 1 get carry, 5 7 is a 35, 36, 3 get carry, 5 4 is a 5, 8. 4 3 is a 12, 2 1 get carry, 4 7 4 is a 28, plus 1 29, 2 get carry, 4 1 is a 4, 5 6, 6. 5 8 7 7. 77.85. 77 77.85 meter is the height of a kite. So this is the answer. Now let's move to the next question. Question number 8. Question number 8, the question is given a 1.5 meter tall boy stands at a distance of 3 meter from the lamppost and cast a shadow of 4.5 meter on the ground find the height of the lamppost so here 1.5 meter tall boy this is 1.5 meter tall boy at a distance of at a distance of 3 meter this is 3 meter from the lamppost this will be the lamppost lamppost shadow is 
4.5 meter this is the lamp post the lamp post shadow is 4 meter 4.5 meter let me join this so this is lamp post we have to find the height of a lamp post this one we have to find base is given here we have to find the height of a lamp post the height of a bar is given here 1.5 meter so this one i'll write as a b this is c and this will be d this is the height of a lamp post this is the boy a height of a boy and the base we have to this base is already given here height of a shadow is given here so what is given here that thing we have to write here given <coughs> what is given height of a boy height of a boy is given 1.5 meter height of a lamp post this one we have to find base is given uh, d b d b 4.5 plus 4.5 plus 3 is 7.5 the base is 7.5 here so, uh, a b c d and this i'll keep as e okay so first of all i'll see here what is given uh, c e in triangle in triangle this one i'll do first c d e in right triangle c d e see this is perpendicular and this is base so we can use tan theta tan theta is equal to perpendicular by base perpendicular by base tan theta perpendicular is 1.5 and this is 1.4 if i solve this one i'll remove the point 15 by 10 45 into 10 okay point is here so in numerator we have to write 10 in numerator point is here so i'll have to write numerator 10 so this 10 10 get cancelled 15 by 45 is left so this one i'll keep like that only now i'll see this big triangle in triangle in right triangle a b d in the below triangle uh, perpendicular we have to find and the base is given here so here also we can use tan theta only tan theta is equal to perpendicular by base see tan theta tan theta we have got 15 by 45 instead of tan theta we can write 15 by 45 15 by 45 is equal to perpendicular is h we have to find and the base is this is the base base is 4.5 plus 3 4.5 plus 3 we have added we, we have got 7.5 so here i'll write 7.5 now i'll do cross multiply h into 45 is 45 h is equal to 7.5 into 15 7.5 into 15 after that i'll write here h is equal to 7.5 into 15 this 45 will come down 45 will come down then we can cancel 15 3 is 45 3 2 is 6 but here is 7 1 get carry here is a point so i'll write pair point so it will be 15 3 5 is 15 so what is left h is equal to 2.5 so height of a lamp post is 2.5 meter so this is the answer okay now next is slab 2 in slab 2 i'll continue in the next video so Till now, this much only. Thank you.